Ever wonder how he got from this to this to this? Save the catch with one hand for the touchdown. Well, it all started with this, a Hupmobile, because at a Canton, Ohio Hupmobile dealership on September 17, 1920, owners of existing pro football teams met to form the APFA, the American Professional Football Association. George Hallis and other signers likely couldn't have predicted that two years later, the APFA would become the National Football League. They were off and running. And so was Red Grange, the first big NFL star, who, in 1925, sprinted from the campus of Illinois to the Bears and the bank, pocketing the then-ridiculous sum of $100,000 to thrill huge crowds as the galloping ghost. Red Grange carried the ball 4,013 times for an average of 8.1 yards and scored 531 touchdowns. To capitalize on its newfound popularity, the NFL created the NFL Championship game in 1933, played between the best teams in each division. And the World Championship game is underway. Granger's Bears were a powerhouse, playing in seven of the first 11 championships against teams like Tim Mara's Giants and the Redskins, led by Slingin' Sammy Ball, who lived up to his name by throwing the ball all over the gridiron. Every time he throws the football, completes a pass, gains a yard, scores a touchdown, Ball sets a world record. The NFL, like the rest of America, was hit hard by World War II. League rosters were so depleted, merged teams like the Steagles played against whomever was left. But when the soldiers came home, football had gained enough popularity to support a second league, the AAFC, which included teams like the Browns, 49ers, and Colts. Instead of a rivalry between two leagues killing the sport, they merged in 1949. President of the right title, touchdown! Along with his Browns, coach Paul Brown brought to the NFL innovation and domination. He was the first coach to champion film study, which helped lead to three championships in the 50s. Watch the Browns, Graham still carrying, rolling out, chasing his number 76. When the Browns weren't winning, Detroit was, three times with quarterback Bobby Lane. Johnny Yu closed out the decade in style, leading the Colts to an epic come-from-behind victory in sudden death overtime in what's still known as the greatest game ever played. The game is over. The Baltimore Colts win a historic overtime victory. The huge demand for football led to the formation of the AFL and teams like the Bills, Broncos, Chargers, Chiefs, Oilers, and Raiders. But back in the NFL, it was all Packers winning titles in a Cotton Bowl, an Ice Bowl, and in the first two Super Bowls. Final score, Green Bay 35 and Kansas City 10. Their legendary status secure when the league's championship trophy was named after their head coach, Vince Lombardi. Meanwhile, Jim Brown was rewriting record books until retiring at the ripe old age of 29. In Super Bowl III, Broadway Joe's guarantee of a Jets victory stole the spotlight. We beat anybody in the world, and I think we're going to win next Sunday. And when they delivered by upsetting the Colts, fans knew AFL teams weren't bit players anymore. It was 1970 when the NFL and AFL merged. The style of football, ground and pound. The run game was in vogue from the electric company to the new champs, the Dolphins, who crowned out two titles. Heading right side, touchdown, Larry Zonka. And so did Tom Landry's Cowboys. Behind Dwayne the Silent, Tony D, and the defense called Doomsday, these Cowboys and their cheerleaders won themselves a new nickname. America's team and a pair of Super Bowls. But the Steelers trumped that with four of a kind, dominating the 70s with two jacks, a mean Joe, and a swan dive. What a, what a but it wasn't all handoffs during the disco era, as a bearded quarterback and a brilliant coach created a supercharged modern offense called Air Coriel. San Diego might not have won any Lombardis, but they made the Walshes, Gibbs, and Parcells take notice. Walsh's short pass West Coast offense got it done three times for San Francisco. Montana stepped up, throws. But Parcells set his sights on diffusing it and any other wide open offense, winning himself two Super Bowls. Meanwhile, Gibbs left Coriel's coaching staff and landed back on the ground, winning the Redskins three titles. He's gone! He's gone! Touchdown, Washington Redskins! 
just like their rivals in Dallas, who, led by a colorful owner, hoisted the Lombardi three times in the early 90s. Then God told Reggie White to sign with Green Bay, and he put the fear of God in quarterbacks on the way to the Packers' third Super Bowl. While all that was happening, Jerry Rice rewrote the record books. And the Bills lost four Super Bowls, setting records for fan headaches. But not even an ill-timed migraine could stop Terrell Davis and John Elway from picking up two titles. Then the Music City Miracle ended up as a mere preview for the greatest show on turf. As the league entered the 2000s, the traditional powerhouses were crumbling in the Tagliabue salary cap and parody era, opening the way for new champions like the Ravens and the Bucks. Boom, boom, boom. But it was a backup quarterback partnering with a rumpled genius that would define the start of the era's only real dynasty. And the Patriots are Super Bowl champions! And his duels with Peyton Manning were the stuff of legend. Though it was the other Manning who would thwart Brady, along with David Tyree, who proved that it pays to be a heady player. How in the world did he do that? Meanwhile, Ben Roethlisberger saw to it that Steelers fans had a ring for the thumb and the other hand. Yet, unlike the 20s through the aughts, no team this decade has repeated. Breeze saved the Saints, but got beast moded in the follow-up. The blazing hot Ravens couldn't recharge with the lights on or off. And the team one yard from repeating had their dreams killed at the goal line. Let's go! Intercepted! The butler did it. And after Dab and Devon at Super Bowl 50, that brings us up to now. 96 seasons with 97 on the horizon. The NFL has come a long way. Who would have thought a Huffmobile could get you that far?